Hey guys, this is Midnight Prime here. And Mr. Kotorx. Time to go, Kohar Crash. Hey, honey, give me Kohar Cash up front. Hell no. Yes, dude. No. Give me. No reason. Yes, there should be reason. There's none. Yes, there should be. Why? Because. What I are you gonna? For it. So? You better get me the cash right now, or else I'm gonna send the mafia on you. you don't, you're not part of the mob. Whatever. Oh, dude, <laughs> what does I sound like right there? No, sort of like a Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of mob character. <laughs> really? Arnold Schwarzenegger, my boss. Apparently, we're doing a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonations this this session. Who told you you could? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Who told you you could put? Uh, dang it! Now I can't do it. <laughs> do the cookie. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, put that cookie down now. <laughs> that is the only Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation I can do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, it's it's mainly that noise I can do. It's like, yeah. God, you sound so hoarse. That's how he sounds. Oh um, yeah. You sound so hoarse. It sounds so forced though. Horse force. Well, uh, watch some of his movies. That he I makes do, that noise. man. He, he makes mo that noise in almost every single movie. I know. Ooh. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Keep going. Down, 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 cookie down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No! Wait, I can get up there. I think. Fail. Shut up. Fail. Ah! Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Going down the bonus. Yay! Gonna collect some Wumpus going down like Sonic. Speaking of which, um. God. I I I, I love Sonic the Hedgehog Run. back in the day. I mean, I still do. I mean, I used to like it to the point where I make fan characters. Like there are so many Sega fan. Uh, I mean, so many like Sonic fan characters out there to this day. Oh my God! Run! I'm running, Run. I'm running! Yup. There's no way for me to save the Wampus. No way. But I can get his lives. Hee <laughs> hee. Bye! Watch that icicle detonate. But I will get my two Wampus. You know, there was a game that I really wanted to play when I was a kid, when oh. I had a Game Boy. What was it? It was a uh, Kirby. Really? Yeah, I wanted to play Kirby. Dang Why? it! Why? Because I like Kirby. Mm. He was a cute little bubblegum ball, whatever he is. I say bubblegum because he's pink. I would say um, cotton candy. Oh, uh, whatever. Hey, I get my chance. Wow. Really? Ah. Uh. Oh well. Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> Yeah, oh, man. <clears throat> hey, let me get my Wampus. So I can get... Oops, uh, so I can get all my lives back. If I can. For sure I can. Oh, no. Now, how do you oh. kill that thing? I have to slide into it. There you go. See? Ah, there, there, there goes the mini Wampus that I could've collected. Yeah, could've. Alright, little penguin. Time to talk. Uh, you could be, you could be like secret agents for the, uh, for the penguins on Madagascar. Oh God, stop! I'm, so, uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I hate that show. Why? It was okay. Uh, not really. Why? Nah, uh, it seems stupid to me. Not as stupid as a zebra dressing up in a clown suit and s saying polka dot, uh, afro. <sighs> really? We're going with that meme? Yeah! My little sister made a meme. Did but she? it was an MMM, it, it was an MMD meme. You can make you dance. Um, uh, more like it makes you bobby head. 
that kind of meme. And she used, um, um, quote me on this, or she used Katy Perry TikTok. I think it's TikTok. Like I said, don't quote me on that. <laughs> All oh, these, um, these songs nowadays, god, they change so much. And yet so little. <sighs> they're, not the, they're not the kind of song I use, uh, uh, the kind of sound I used to like. Ah, shit. Listen now it's to. not the sound that you used to know. Yep. What happened to, like, freaking, freaking, uh... Of course, we all know what happened. Uh, well, of course, we all know there ain't gonna be no Michael Jackson singles hit. There, there was supposed to be a tour, but that never uh, happened. I forget, the, I forget that, the name of that tour. Um, it was the um, I think it was supposed to be celebrating his anniversary, uh, of his music. Yeah, but I forget what the name of the. Tour I forgot was. the name of it too. I mean, it was over three years three years ago. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I know. I know the. I know the history. You know what's bad? What? The, de the day after Michael Jackson died, there were people telling Michael Jackson jokes. Yeah. Mm, nope. Not worth it. I'm not that good. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Come on. Get. 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 Go. 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 Ah! Miss. Wasn't worth it. Yeah, but I could have had it. Wasn't worth it. Jeez, oh, there's a there's a life though. Uh huh. I bet you I can get it. Honey, just go, just go forward. <sighs> you never let me do it. Because it's not worth it. Why? But it's a life, man. That I uh, totally wasted. <laughs> Kind of remind me of the time when um I was watching what's it called what's that show called uh drawn I think it's called I think that's what it's called drawn drawn cartoons or something like that where they have like all the stereotypes of uh, drawn together drawn together like a stereotype they have every cartoon stereotypes on that show it's like a reality show and all that kind of crap yeah. cause you got that cause you got that chick who's supposed to be like the the stereotype of baby boop. You got that Pikachu looking thing. Whose name a, I can't remember. Yeah, it's right something. Um, who's a stereotype of Pokemon? Yeah, and and uh, <laughs> Asian people in general. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's all it spoke was uh, like. Oh, all it spoke is Japanese. Yeah, it only spoke Japanese. Yeah, it only spoke Japanese, and nobody could understand what it says. Um, you got that princess who's a stereotype of every every Disney. princess. Yeah, every <laughs> freaking princess under the sun. Yeah, uh, uh, Disney princess. And then, and then you've got uh, Foxy, who's a what is she a stereotype? She's of? the black stereotype. <laughs> That's really just the black stereotype. But her name is Foxy. Wait, ain't she? Does she? Her name is Foxy Love. Yeah, Foxy Love, and um, yeah, she is she is a black. She is the black stereotype. Trust me. <sighs> even the directors, the directors even said it. She is the black stereotype, and that's all you're getting out of her. <laughs> and you got Just that superhero. And you know what? I'm just gonna jump over that fucking yeah. hedgehog. Yeah, you got the you're superhero the guy. You're the Sonic that I can't get over. Yeah, the um. <laughs> I, or is it I, an I, echidna? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not an echidna. It's a... Jump over. Yeah, uh, oh, and then you had the uh, video fuck. game stereotype with the elf. The gay elf. Yeah, the gay elf. Um, he's supposed to be kind of like a stereotype of Link or whatnot. He's a stereotype of video game characters and gay people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was stupid of me. Yeah, and... um. Didn't I say that there was a superhero? Ah, oh, thank you, Aku Aku, for coming to my aid. Cause yeah, you know I, was uh, I like to up call so him hard. generic man. Yeah, he was your superhero. Friend. Yeah, every generic superhero. And um, I I I watched Drawn Together like like a lot. I remember when they introduced Foxy Love. There was like a rival between her and that princess girl. Sorry, I cannot remember her name. I'm very bad with names, and the only ones I can remember are the ones uh, are the characters that I really really like, and that's Foxy Love. <laughs> Sad part is that's the only character I can remember too. <laughs> it's 
so there with that out of the way um i remember that there was a that there was a rivalry between her and and um and the princess and then they ended up making out in a lesbian way so i was like should i get turned on by this or should i just i don't know i don't know how to i don't know how to act towards this you know <laughs> it's like <laughs> but even so i kind of i kind of question myself on certain aspects of things yeah seriously i do like no! i do like uh me? i think i forget which one of the episodes it was but uh uh the what's his name the uh superhero guy uh-huh he is con I, I think it's like one of the very first few episodes he says, I'm on a never ending quest to save my girlfriend. Yeah, I remember that episode where they're kinda like saying that, nah, you don't have a girlfriend, you're gay. And he and he was in denial that he was gay. Wait, there was another character we also miss. Um The, the one, pig! The pig The pig, he's like the Ren and Stimpy on crack. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> or was it or was it cow and chicken on crack? <laughs> Either or would have been... <laughs> Either or is too much for me. Yeah, man, I was like... Yeah, yeah, because I was just like... Thinking about, like... All these, like, different characters. It's always got to be that one character I miss. For some odd reason. I guess because he was, like, my least favorite. Like, my number one favorite would be... Foxy Love, the princess... Uh, uh, the princess who's my number two. And the... Pokemon one... Um, would be my third. Yeah, that, was, that thing was a little murderous little thing. Oh, I know. And also, like, I was just like, and also I remember that episode where he, they were like doing this whole TV reality type of show kind of thing. Which was what it was. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, basically. And uh, he was just like saying, I'm not gay, guys. I got a girlfriend. What evidence do you need? So they were trying to put him through like different types of trials, right? And yeah. the princess has like a certain trial where you put your hand in, in what looks like a vase and and um it's like a test of sexuality and if your hand if you got, if your hand is still intact then you're straight if it's not then you're gay so so at first it seems like he didn't get bitten but when he pulled his hand out his hand was gone so yeah so wait there's an aqua aqua up there yeah, I know. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, and so he was kind of like saying, so he kind of like uh, saying, was surprised that he's gay, and then he's starting to kill himself. Yeah, it's like goodbye, cruel world. And it's like, oh well, okay, there goes a character. So and then he came he comes back. back because he's got like a buttload of lies. Yeah, and he does it again. I was like, oh good, he did a uh, goodbye, cruel world, and he does it again. I was like, and then and then once he's like. At what his third life or whatnot or whatever, how many lives he was? Yeah, they stop him. Yeah, it was like, um, this is gonna take a while. I got about over 99 lives, so I was like, holy shit. Well, that's basically basically most games anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you got over 99. Yeah, and, and the thing was, it's like at the beginning he was like really excited. About it. I was like, goodbye, cruel world. And it's like at the end of it, it's like goodbye, cruel world. Ugh. Yeah, it's like, no, oh, this is gonna take a while. Yeah, but then he comes to terms with his sexuality. Yep. Instead of saying, uh, I'm on a quest to fight my, uh, to, uh, rescue my girlfriend, then he said, dare I say it, I'm on a quest Never to Never ending quest to save my boyfriend. Yep, pretty yeah, much. I don't think you're gonna be getting this. Nope. I kind of, I kind of fucked that one up pretty oh. hard. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there was like so, there was like a couple of episodes I missed. There was another episode where um, all the Disney princes of Di uh, all the Disney princes were in a car wreck. Uh, I think Cinderella was like at the wheel and pretty much crashed everything, and poor Ariel was g basically was in half. Yeah, seriously. So that was like, like oh jeez. <laughs> good lordy. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. And then there was another one where that girl was like, um, getting really turned on by explosion. Oh, it's like ecstasy to her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I don't remember much of anything else after that, but, uh, oh shit. Yeah, so it's just like, there, the, the, it was a pretty awesome cartoon. There was like a lot of cartoons I watched, but. Usually they either on Comedy Central or MTV. Um, not just not MTV, but MTV Two, I think. Yeah. 
there were like a lot so Daria was one I don't know why I watched that show that show was just bland beyond bland yeah, I see it. and and there's not really much of a plot to it, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, you should have gotten all the taller ones and then gotten that. Yeah, I know. I, sh I kind of, like I said, I kind of messed that one up, but that's okay. Um, what's another one that I watch? Um, there was another cartoon that I watched that was like, um, there's these kids in high school, but they're not your typical kids. They're supposed to be some kind of like a ancestor of of the of uh, what the heck? I don't know how that happened. Historical people that died, like the main group is usually the main group is Joan of Arc, um, Abe, uh, Gandhi, and you got your typical people who are uh, your typical people. The popular girl is Cleopatra. I don't know that one. Uh, oh, this sounds interesting. I watched it when I, I watched it when it was like on air. There, I think there's only like one season of it. There's only there's only like one season, and Abe was trying to be popular, and Joan has a crush on him. But basically, Abe got a crush on Cleopatra because she's a popular a popular girl in, uh, in high school and all that. Um, I'm trying to think. You know, I've watched a lot of weird shows when I was young. Uh, <laughs> And one of the weirdest ones I watched, and um, th this is honestly saying a lot, was a, and I'm not joking on this, people, you can actually look it up. There were kids who were traveling back in time through Bible times via, and I'm not joking, a magic Bible. I think I remember that. <laughs> oh, God. No, and me and my friends... Uh, it's like I showed my friends this, and you know we were all just dying laughing at it, and none of us were taking it seriously whatsoever. Which the show, I mean the show itself, kind of wanted to be taken seriously because it was teaching little kids about the Bible. Uh huh. But it's so stupid for the fact that you got a freaking magic Bible. And it kind of and, and it kind of reminds me of uh, Captain Planet. Oh no no no! You're talking about I I know I think I know what you're talking. Yeah, I mean the art style. I'm not talking about. The oh story. yeah yeah the art style yeah. I remind you. Uh, oh and um, there was another thing. There's a and I'm not joking on this either. I swear I wish I was making this up. There's a Christian superhero. Bible man. Bible man. Yeah. <laughs> I no. remember. And he uses a fucking lightsaber. I was a I was a Bible thumper when I was young. Not I, just not just because I wanted uh, not just because I that's what I'm into is because you know how parents you got yeah. Christian parents they kind of like force you into like going to church and going to Bible school and yeah. super no, church the, and things the, like that. These shows were like ridiculous. I mean, don't get me wrong, they do teach kids, uh... Oh, yeah, they teach some good moral values, but, I mean, if you want moral values, let them watch Peanuts. Don't worry about all the boxes, just go. I know. I'm just gonna go. Because I know I'm gonna mess up. And plus, I got over 138 weapons! Ah, there's a life but, right there! I mean... <laughs> Screw your box! I mean, I've watched so many weird shows when I was a kid, uh... I'm trying to think of something. Oh, um, I vaguely remember watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, to any of those who remember that. I, I, the, I remember watching it. The best part for me of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was when we went to Imagination Land. I think that's what it was called. I don't know. Back then, when I was watching freaking... Ah, uh, no. I messed that one up. I and I guarantee you can't get back over there. Can no, you? I can't. Watch. You wanna know how I do wanna know how the platform look at that, see? Oh fuck. It rebuilds itself. That's some nanotechnology. Whoa! Oh no! I and there's I an Aku Aku right up in the hitter. I thought I was gonna make it. No, I didn't make it that time. That's Anyways, uh yeah. Um Oh, and also there was this big rumor about Mr. Rogers, how, you know, he used to be in the army, and the reason he wears those long sweaters is to cover up tattoos. That that was not true at all. In That's fact, 
In fact, he actually debunked it himself. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Hey, yeah! Aku! Aku! Okay. I am so looking forward to freaking it coming Jack. out! I don't know, it says this month, but I don't know what date! I don't know the date! I'm gonna look it up after this, though. Oh, I actually got uh, done watching all of the new Steven Universe episodes. You know there, you know there's a second ep uh, second season. Yeah, they're uh, coming out. Well, we're already on the second season. I've already seen like two episodes from uh, from the season already. You need to watch the full thing. I don't. I know. I need to watch the full thing. Shut up. Uh, but uh, Paradox, uh, Paradox basically literally called. Uh, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. <laughs> Uh, but Peridot literally called Yellow Diamond a clod right to her face. <laughs> I was like, whoa! That takes balls. Yeah, and so now she's officially a crystal gem, whether she wants, uh, whether she likes it or not. Yup. And that's even what Garnet said. It's like, it's like, uh, she said, and now you're a crystal gem, whatever. whether you like it or not. I'm not gonna go for it. Yeah. Yep. And um, there was also a preview that I watched where Peridot tries to understand a fusion. Yep, I've seen that episode. That's log date one, uh, one, uh, one dash ah, one shit. four something. I lost all the Aku Akus and yet I'm at the end. Yep. I, lost I think this will be a good stopping point for the day. Yep, pretty much. Yep, because, like I said, this is only the fourth level, the fifth level. It's gonna get hard. <laughs> yeah. And plus, I gotta go take care of some things. Yup. Right. And next up, we're gonna be having the heebie-jeebies and behaving. Yep. <laughs> oh, behave, honey. So, anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to check out my channel so you can check out some other good videos as well because this one was pretty good. And we want you guys to check out the best videos on there, and I uh, think we have some of the best. So. And, um. Remember, folks, there's nah. no point in being an adult if you can't act childish from time to time. And we'll see you all next time. Oh, yeah, I've totally forgot this is Midnight Prime, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what I was waiting for you to do. Was Sorry. The, you want to retry our outro and let me do it right and do no, it? No, right? we kind of like reverse it. <laughs> so, bye guys. See ya. <laughs>